Do comic publishers and editors hate marriage? Well, they'll deny it, but at the same time, they will make comments to the effect of comic readers do not want to have their characters married. They can't relate to it. But there's no real truth to that, and the evidence all seems to point to the contrary. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, this is Perch. We've talked about uh, One More Day and, and kind of the, the erasure of uh, you know, Spider-Man's marriage to Mary Jane. Um, we've seen in recent times certainly a lot of signs that suggest that uh, Bendis is trying to undo or at least soft pedal a lot of the Lois Lane relationship. He's changed it from what Tomasi did and others and it, it feels like that's heading south. Uh, we know years ago, the the uh, writer and artist for Batman, Batwoman, sorry, um, basically, you know, left the book when told that they would not let the characters, the editors said they wouldn't let the characters get married. And here's a crazy thing. It wasn't because it was a gay relationship or, or a lesbian relationship. It was because, once again, the editors didn't believe that that fans could relate to characters being married. But here's the weird part. If you're talking about the 1950s or maybe the 1960s, and certainly there's a lot of evidence that suggests the average comic age reading age was like 10. But today, all signs point to the average comic reading age being 30. And even though there's this stereotype that uh, you know comic, comic readers and collectors are weirdos living in their parents' basement, the reality is the majority of comic collectors, people spending the bulk of the money, are probably married with kids. We don't have a census of comic readers, but we do have at least some data to suggest that that's where the money is coming from. At various retailer summits, we have heard that the average comic age is trending up, past 30, getting closer to 40. We've heard that in New Comic Book Day, when there have been polls or surveyed, the majority of people coming in are coming in with their kids. Now, I'm not saying the nuclear family is is completely, you know, what it is. Maybe these are, you know, single men and women who live in their parents' basement who happen to have kids. I, I don't know. But but I think it's safe to say marriage as a concept is, is relatively uh, understood by comic readers. There's also a lot of evidence, as um, a couple people have pointed out, I think... I want to go back and say that during the whole Batwoman uh, scenario, the uh, J.H. Williams did make a comment that said, you know, the, even if, uh, oh, wind went crazy here, even if uh, readers were weirded out by marriage or weren't married, um, marriage was still something that people aspired to. It fit into that kind of heroism ideal of a stable family in a relationship. You look at the recent Batman and uh, Tom King's run where much of that whole run was centered around Batman getting married to Catwoman. It's what they built up to with issue 50. It's what they didn't do. It's where the end of his run basically said, you know, we're married, but we don't have to be married. Kind of like the, uh, what feels like the millennials dream in a way of, of saying, you know, way hey, we don't have to, we're going to have all these things that marriage has, but we're not actually going to be married. I mean, maybe we'll probably go and quickly get a license when the taxes come in next year. But for now, we're going to not be married, be married. We're going to be different. And uh, the crazy part is, I think that where comic uh, publishers, the leadership, some of the creators are concerned, there's this, um, you know, one on the on the writer side. I think there's this desire to have more of the, you know, the characters reflect themselves, which typically are single, uh, typically are you know maybe a little bit of a different kind of relationship, different environment. Fine. On the publisher side, though, I think it's a little weirder. I think the publishers honestly do long for those days when the comic readership is in the teens. Back to that almost 1950s like audience. That's that's what they want. I think they sit around and say, well, our, our current comic readership is aging out, so we need to start to appeal to this younger audience. That's, this isn't speculation on my part. We've heard them say this. We've heard uh, people like Joe Casada, we've heard Jeff Johns even talk about the need to pull in a younger audience. We've heard Dan Didio talk about the need to pull in a younger audience. And you see kind of the, you know, them putting their money where their mouth is by hiring a lot of YA authors, by really prioritizing that part of the line. 
It sounds fine. But the problem is it kind of got ahead of themselves. They didn't check to see if the audience was going to come. They didn't do marketing to actually bring that audience in. They start producing books that, in theory, they believe that audience likes. But we don't even know if that's true. What does a 15-year-old want to read in a comic book? Are, is that 15-year-old going to be turned off by marriage? When you hear Marvel, and, and in recent years, there's been uh, several at least strong attempts or suggestions to break up Reed and Sue Richards, what with the first family of the of the Marvel Universe. There there has been this idea. And I, I frankly still believe at some point Marvel will get around to that. I, I just I think that it, it irks them. It's like a it's like a bad like stone in their shoe that they still have this one marriage and then worse still it's like an older scientist white dude and you know his blonde wife. I think there, there is something about that whole thing that just irks people. Uh, but there's no real proof that removing that changes anything or improves anything. It's like, okay, if we finally just get rid of Reed and Sue's marriage, then, then all the teenagers are going to come, start buying comic books, the numbers will triple, and everything will be good again. That's strange. I think that there's this this built-in kind of assumption, and it's a bad assumption, that, you know, kids don't know what to do with marriage. They don't understand the concept. They don't want it. They don't want to read about it. But once again, in the 80s, when Spider-Man married Mary Jane, for a lot of people in their teens and 20s, that was a cool moment. That was our hero, Spider-Man, who's usually down on his luck, finally having something good happen to him. In this case, he's marrying a pot model. That was like, I mean, it's, it's wish fulfillment. And the adventures of, of Spider-Man and Mary Jane or Peter Parker and Mary Jane were happy ones. Generally, people were, were good with it. There was some weird stuff like that time that Mary Jane took up smoking and then Peter had to have a talk with her. But in general, um, people liked it. A younger audience liked it. So it's peculiar that as people grew up, suddenly this idea settled in that, hey, uh, we can't have that. Nobody can relate to it. There's just been no evidence proving that that's the case. So marriage, you know, I think a couple things here to kind of sum up. One, yes, the comic publishers and the creators, for different reasons, seem to really dislike marriage as a concept in comic books. And they're going to work to eliminate it. Two, um, there's no real evidence to suggest that the readers want that. In fact, if anything, and it's all anecdotal, but if anything, there's ed evidence to the contrary. More readers kind of clamor for these kind of happy resolutions to things, and marriage is one of those things. Hero can save the world. Hero can get married to his hot model girlfriend. Hey, anything is good. Three, I don't think anything changes anytime soon because the unfortunate reality is the publishers and the writers continue to cling on to these beliefs that they have that have no real basis in, in fact or evidence and seem very resistant to hearing anything to the contrary. I don't think that, uh, you know, I don't think anybody's sitting down and challenging these decisions. I think they're just allowed to kind of plow forward and, uh, well, I'll just keep making comics, see what happens. I, I'm waiting for that leader to show up in comics and really say, hey, you know what? Uh, a lot of our assumptions, we're going to challenge them. Some may be right, some may be wrong, but we're going to stop living with the wrong ones. We're going to start making some proactive movements. We're going to shore up the audience we have, and then we're going to go chase that new audience. Uh, seems like common sense, but uh, that's that. for whatever reason, that's uh, it's not common. Anyway, what do you think? Is marriage toxic? Is it bad? Is it uh, kind of root comics and old people stories? Or, or is this uh, a silly idea? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, there's a bag floating across the street where I'm standing right now. Just a, a little paper bag. So it's the most beautiful thing in the world. I, sorry. I, I am old. What can I say? Um, that's, that's a movie reference for people. Yeah, now I'm explaining it. Anyway, um, I have <laughs> like, subscribe, whatever you choose to do. Would love to have you here as part of the channel or your friends, whoever, uh, your spouse. Hey, if you're married, you know, why not? Um, follow me on Twitter or Facebook at Comic Perch. And thanks for listening.